gosh, Fabiola. You can do it. May the sacred assistance that Mary had in Bethlehem help us at this moment. May the hands of the saints and the angels come and help us deliver this baby healthy and fine. May it always be strong and beautiful, and may the protective blood of Christ be with her always. And may his presence be felt by the mother during this crucial moment. Bush, Fabiola, breathe. Oh, that's it. Breathe. May he always protect her and guide her. Come on, Fabiola, just a little more. Come on, just a little more. May this woman and her child be protected from any sort of harm. By the blood of Christ, Holy Mother Mary and Saint Joseph. May the sacred measure and the Holy Virgin be with us. Calm down, Jesus Antonio. Your wife has given birth before, and she has experienced this. Your child was safely delivered. Fabiola wants to see you. Oh, she wants to see you. Look, it's another girl. She looks just like you, but she didn't cry. Do you think she was sent to us mute? Fabiola. Has it crossed your mind that she's just waiting for you to hold her? No. When she receives the holy water and becomes a legitimate daughter of God, then I will hold her. Until then, I will not. My thanks, Isabella and Pedro. Anytime, boss. We came for your blessing. All right, so what's your daughter's name? Father Miguel, the truth is Fabiola and I have not agreed on it. For heaven's sake, Jesus Antonio and Fabiola. You understand the importance of a name for this child. She's going to carry it all her life. You should have thought of it before heading here. But if you decide, Father, that wouldn't be a problem, right? Yes, yes, Father. We'll let you decide. Then let us do something. Let the Lord decide. Our Creator can choose the child's name. Are you two all right with that? Yes, it would be better if God chose the name. Laura? Laura, Laura which means immortality. Immortality? Laura. My goodness, it seems like a lot of weight for a small girl to carry. I like the name, my love. Laura Montoya Upegi. Yes, Father, Laura it is. I baptize you, Laura Montoya Upegi, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. How weird. She didn't cry. Not even slight. Thank you for coming, Dario. 
Do you want something to drink? No, Fabiola. I have another patient after this. Are you sure there's nothing wrong with the girl? Fabiola, your daughter is perfectly fine. Dario, do you think she has a clogged tear duct? Fabiola, like I said, Laura's perfectly well. Look, your husband is a better doctor than I am, and he has already told you a million times, so you should believe him. Instead, you focus on taking care of your next child. Still, I need to know why Laura hasn't cried yet. Well, maybe she has no reason, so you do not have to worry about that. Look, I don't want to sound heartless, but we have enough problems in the country for you to start worrying about a girl who doesn't want to cry. Do you think Laura's saving her tears for when tragedy strikes? What tragedy are you speaking of? Remember, whoever thinks negatively calls on it. Wait. Dario, do you think that President Para is going to start persecuting priests? <laughs> priests, nuns, and friends of the church, that's what they say. Oh my goodness. They say that there will be a civil war between radicals and conservatives, so you better tell your husband. I will. Tell him to watch out and not start a riot, because things are getting dangerous. If he does, remind him that his family needs it. I'll tell him. Well, tell him then. And take care of the girl. She's very pretty. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Say hello to your wife. With pleasure, Fabiola. Goodbye. Goodbye. Clarissa, stop bothering your sister just because she doesn't cry. Look, my love, I'm very concerned for my parents. I haven't heard from them for months. I'm very worried something's happened to them in Medellin. Let's go on a trip and see how they do. What's happening now? What is it, Manuel? Why are you being so scandalous? The radicals have taken over the church. What? The radicals took over the church? Yes, and they're burning it with a priest still I inside. Allow that. Fabiola, bring me my machete. And where are you going with a machete? Fabiola, my machete. I'll take it to you. But remember that you have a family, that you have children. Think about that. Fabiola, keep the door closed. Give me your blessing. May the heavens watch over you. Let's go, Manuel! Manuel, you go over there while I search for the priest. Hurry! Hurry! This is not the time for you to cry. Don't scare me.
blessed mother, I pray that... They killed Jesus Antonio. I knew you were saving your tears for when tragedy strikes, but please. Fabiola, have you thought about what you're going to do now that you are by yourself? They will kick you out of the house in two days. God will help me. God will help. Fabiola, please, who's going to take you in with all those children and your youngest child? Something's wrong with her, right? She's not retarded. <laughs> Fabiola, that little girl is not normal. You and I have known that since the beginning. She has been strange. Who's going to take you in with her? Have you thought about, I don't know, leaving her I will not be separated from my children. As hard as it may be, only God knows why he put so much sorrow in our lives. If three years ago someone had told me that I was going to be a widow with three children, I would not have married Jesus Antonio. Imagine my situation, alone in this world in the middle of a war. Risking it all, I venture to find you and Father, as you are the only ones who can help us.